Hey folks, it's it's uh, Max at Joker's Comedy Club. Only I'm outside in kind of cold weather. Introducing our headliner this week, Tabari. Is it Tabari? Yes, it is Tabari. Good work, sir. Tabari McCoy. Yes, my first name, despite being six letters, has been butchered upon unbelievable measures although <laughs> you know i understand it's not a common name but i figure if nfl broadcasters could learn how to say former pittsburgh Steeler chris fuamatu malafala without sounding like making it sound like a curse word somebody could get tabari right it's six letters yeah no that's not that bad and you're the only tabari i've ever known believe it or not my whole life i can but... i can believe that because the only other tabari i've ever seen in my native cincinnati was number six on cincinnati police's most wanted list and then i got <laughs> mad because i'm like number six i'm like come on man if you're gonna if you're gonna be a criminal you gotta be the best you gotta get my street cred up so wow yeah only number six that's hardly worth looking for him you know, I wonder if like criminals even bother to look at like their their rankings and their stats, because like, you know, professional <laughs> athletes keep track of their stats. I'm sure that guy was like, I'm number six. Oh, that means two more bank robberies at least this month. Let me <laughs> stop gotta... before he somehow hears this and he's free. And then I have somebody try to come ruin my life. So <laughs> got to get up those rankings. I remember remember in the Iraq war, they had the playing cards with all the top Iraqi officials on them and stuff like that. You know, I actually I actually do remember that because I have nerdy pursuits and collecting sports memorabilia is among them. And I remember when those cards dropped and I said to myself, I'm good. So I actually don't own any, but I do remember them because we marketed the desert storm like nobody's business. The only thing missing, yeah. I think, was a Toby Keith song. I remember we got to know. I got to ask this. Yes. We don't know. I don't know. What is Funko? I'm in, we're in Washington. Oh, State. What is so. Funko? So, so, you know, the guy keeps, so you got to stay abreast of pop culture. Uh, Funko are little six, nine, and sometimes 20 inch toys that they make for a whole bunch of things. And they're like, and I always say this, they're like Beanie Babies, except that unlike Beanie Babies, these seem to be pretty stable and they make Funkos that everything star wars figures they make funkos for real life people uh they made a couple for comedians like gabrielle iglesias and joe coy hmm. um so yeah funkos about little six inch pieces of plastic and it's like anything you know because I, I i digress so folks you, you get a you, you, you get a picture of what this show is going to be like now with tabari mccoy uh you don't want to miss it it's yes it's going to be a non-stop oh fast I'm going to be running my mouth the entire time. If you go to the bathroom, you're going to come back. You're going to miss something. You're going uh, to miss something. Yeah. And yes, and I will tell everybody this. I am not one of those comedians because people always ask this and they don't want to sit up in the front row or these types of things. They're worried. Well, is the comedian going to pick on me? <laughs> now, there are some people who involve the audience in their show by, by definition and by the way they work their shows. I'm going to tell everybody this. This is a conversation that I am having with the audience that I am in full control of. So to quote a lot of great hood poet laureates, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. But if you think I'm traveling halfway across the country and crossing three time zones to have some drunk idiot try to mess up my day. Oh, trust and believe. That will be the last thing you want to do. So come on out, wear something nice, bring somebody special. If you're single, ladies, come by yourself or with a crew. But just don't involve yourself in the show, because if you heckle, I promise you, I will make it a bad night for you. But everybody else will be like, man, remember that time he destroyed that guy and made him go home and cry? And then he had to go to therapy for two weeks, and then he lost his job because he kept showing up to work late? That comedian was something else, wasn't he? That's me. Great. So uh, we'll see you uh, on uh, Friday and Saturday at 7.30. I'm looking forward.